Hey YouTube, this is Sean with Griffin RC Planes. Hey, this is part two of our Tower Hobbies Uproar version two RC airplane build. In the instruction manual, step two is to put the servos in the wings. We're gonna bypass all the electronics until we get the plane built. So for our part two, we're gonna glue in the horizontal and vertical stabilizer section into the fuselage. I got the baby bottle warmer, <laughs> warming up the epoxy right now. Let me get the rest set up and I'll be right back. Step one is to cut away the film at the back of the plane, both holes for the push rod tubes, one for the elevator, one for the rudder. Plus there's a total of three slots for the horizontal and vertical stabilizer. Plus they're claiming to have a temporary filler block says don't forget to remove that so you'll need a sharp exacto knife and then you kind of just do some feeling around with your fingers plus you can look in the light and i'm feeling right here that this is where one of the push rod tubes is going to come out I already stuck it on the other side a little bit just to, just to verify, but right in here. And this is just a little tiny hole, you know, big enough for the, for the tube that the push rod is going in. And it's kind of cut on an angle, you know, so it, like it's a 45 coming out. to see it if I use my flashlight I know it blinds the camera but we're right there I tell you what we're gonna hang on there for a minute once we get this slot cut then we can look in there I felt that filler block Instead of cutting it on both sides, I'm going to cut it in the middle. That way we got something to play with. You know, we don't want to cut too much. That way there's no, no going back. You can see we already stuck that one side there. Let's get, let's get all this open here. Then we may be able to see a little bit more. Yeah, now we're making some progress. All right. All right, boy, you hate... This is a better get it right the first time move right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So take your time and study it under a flashlight or... Hold it up to the dining room light, whatever you got to do to make sure you're cutting in the right spots there. All right. All right, we need to clean all that up. Plus... On top, we'll get these exposed and I'll put you on pause and I'll clean them all up. Okay, so we're going to have a hole in the top here, plus that side. And on 
this side. Let's go ahead and get this one a little more exposed here. And then the two little tiny holes for the push rod tubes. All right, so one, two, and three, plus this push rod and this push rod. Let me get them cleaned up. I'll be right back. Come on now. All right. Well, this is a uh, this this is tedious work right here. And then I keep looking over my cat. I'm thinking, oh God, don't don't jump up here now. Prick my finger. Well, I like my pets, though. My, I think a good shop cat is good to have around around your little airplane workshop you know it I don't know where you guys are all at but here in middle Tennessee it is freezing cold tonight it's uh it's close to midnight technically Saturday morning and it's like 21 degrees man that is cold for here pretty dang cold my heater has been running and running and running I got the fan on recirculate and uh, my indoor outdoor thermometer shows the temperature in the house like 64 <laughs> that's as warm as I can I can get it I don't think that's really quite that accurate you know for it can't it can't measure the entire house but still that's that's pretty pr pretty chilly all right get that little piece out of there you gotta be careful when you don't want to break the plane Make sure you cut all this stuff. You know, you see a little piece and you want to rip it with your fingers or something. Don't do that. I've made that mistake before. Psh, like peeling a banana. You just uh, you just cause yourself some trouble. And when these these razor blades, man, when they're new, you could cut right through this balsa wood and kind of not even know it. So be careful. trying to do this how so you guys can see it if not I'd have a set of flashlights on my head and I'd be right up on it you know but, and so far we don't have any bids on the fuel tank you know today is a day almost technically day six there was a couple of people watching it on eBay but didn't have any bids yet I mean for three bucks man if you're looking for one it's a pretty good deal somebody sent me a message and said 
four dollars for shipping and I said yeah and he said can you mail it any cheaper and I said no it's not possible you know that's that's the very 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 cheapest and we're lucky it fits into the 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 weight you know the the post office the cheapest shipping is for four ounces and less in, a, in an envelope or a little tiny box and he said well you know three dollars is a good deal but with your four dollars for shipping that makes it seven <clears throat> and he said you know then I got to pay tax you know he said so I'll be like nine bucks in it he said uh, that fuel tank only cost like 550 I said okay I said well d don't 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 calculate the shipping into this deal he said well it's it's money I said okay well get in your car and drive to the hobby store and buy it you know can you do that for less than four dollars <laughs> and many many uh, I, I could tell with the next message that that kind of made sense so we'll see if we get a bid on that you know I do a lot on eBay I do a lot of buying and selling and uh, people hold that shipping as part of the price tag and and I know it makes a big a big difference on you know something with some pricey shipping you know like when I mail a plane it could be 30 bucks or something but when it's three fit you know four, three 385 is the dirt cheapest to you know five bucks or something that you're paying for convenience you, know, you can't drive to anywhere and get that you know even if there was a hobby store down the road or whatever by the time you get in your car and you go and you park and this and that I mean Pay the four bucks and have the mailman drop it off at your door. So we'll, we'll see if, if no one uh, if, if no one buys it, it, it'll it'll be relisted and and it'll it'll be up again for another seven days. And, and I can tell you this, I guarantee that it will sell. Just a matter of time. Some of the stuff I put on eBay will sit there for for a month. And then when the auction renews, I'll get a bid on it when it's only been up for a couple hours d during that auction cycle. So just somebody, you know, that was looking for it, you know, just didn't happen to be looking for it previously. All right, so we're really close. I'm, you know, we'll neaten these up a little bit more, but so we we got that one and that side and the top. That this is that block of wood there. They said it's in there for shipping. Get that booger out. All right, let me get the other pieces ready, and we'll see what film we got to cut off them.